Hi folks, Tim here from High End Cheap Tech, and today we're going to talk about the Redmi Note 8, which is a, yeah, a really good phone, or could have been. Nice display, IPS, 1080p. Uh, the display is fantastic. Uh, beautiful back cover, glass, and what I really like, that rear fingerprint reader. Bam, we're open. And we're going to go over all the reasons that Xiaomi took a perfectly good, or what could have been a stellar phone, and turned it into God knows what with their skin on it. Junk is all I can describe me you I as. I'll be right back after the intro. Let's get to that now. All right, folks, I am back, and uh, let's get down to it. This is the uh, Redmi Note 8, and this could have easily become my daily driver. The phone itself is uh, not as big as I thought it would be, even for somebody that's hands my size. Um, it has a beautiful glass back. All the pretty colors you guys like. And of course, I've added the uh, Fusion X uh, rinky case to it. And it unlocks quick and easy with the fingerprint reader 100 out of 100 times. And you'll notice that is not the uh, MIUI skin on there. We've laid... Nova Launcher Prime on top of it to have something somewhat semi-useful. And guess what? It's got, wait a minute, an after hour and dark mode. And, yeah, so far, so good. Now, what? let's go over all the reasons they screwed up. This should have never hit the public like this, folks. All right. <laughs> oh, boy. So... When you turn the phone on its side, like so, the screen doesn't rotate. And rotation is on. When you go into the apps, they'll rotate. They'll have rotated. But inexcusable, unfixable, no place to get that to work. Mm -hmm. Number one. A simple problem that should never have made it to the public eye. If you don't know what the hell you're doing, that's well, too bad. Number two, no after. See, that's why I put the uh, Nova Launcher on it. I have an after, a nice dark um, theme in the after. I've got. I've got my nav buttons, I like that. And all that blow where I was able to just push into the, uh, um, at, you know, down in the after. <coughs> Get it out of sight, out of line. So, still no after on, you know, the actual phone. If you go to the, you know, MIUI skin. And I have the exact same um, MIUI as like Serato does. And here's number two. Why offer SD card expansion when it ain't for real? When you put this in, it says format card. Great. And now I hear people go, well, you just move your apps. I don't want to move my apps. It should come up and offer me two options. It does on the Mi 3 here. It did on the new mobile. It did on the Mi A2. It does on the Axon M from 2017. It does on virtually any phone with a decent software package. Nowhere can you find how to fix that, except in Hindi, and I don't speak Hindi. So... 
what I need to do is ask somebody who has the pro version, Cyrano, when you watch this, I expect feedback. It tells me, were you able to format an SD card as internal storage by default? Did it ask you, or did it just say, format an external card? And that's useless. I mean, that's totally useless. With extra storage? Yes. It's not the same thing. It's not even close. That is unacceptable reason number two. Last but not least is the fact that there was no after, of course, and it doesn't spin. And uh, it just, I mean, it does have lift on weight. That's nice. Or wake and lift. And it is nice. I can reach behind it here and unlock it quickly. But when I have to put Nova Launcher on it just to get an after her and get all your bloatware crap off the screen and it shouldn't be uninstallable. I don't use Facebook, so but it won't let me uninstall it. I don't use Netflix because the DRM level on here is only gonna let you view them in standard standard H D or probably at 480p, uh, but it's no good. So, and I don't watch Netflix, so why can't I just unload those? No, we can't delete them. And all that bloatware they put on it. You can't get rid of most of it. <sighs> Folks, if we wanted a bunch of Chinese bloatware on our phones, we would ask for it. But when you put up an international, Edition. Don't give us all that, uh, what is apparently highly entertaining to the Chinese, um, blowware. Just don't do it. So, at this moment, I am going to shut this phone back off. Oh, and, oh, wait, one other glaring, horrible thing. I mean, we got quad cameras back there, fantastic. Take great video. Shot a video at work. I process it at work, and they do have the additional macro lens, which hmm, you can live without. That exact same lenses are found on the Mi A3 we're shooting on. Ah, but the front. See the uh, selfie cam, 13 megapixels, folks, versus the 32 on the Mi A3, which is going to get the Google. Android 10 update here shortly. Uh, they keep promising it to us and they keep pushing it back. And I don't see how it can be that hard, although they're going to try to stick some of the, They still manage to stick some bloatware on there, uh, which they, sh they should be slapped by Google for doing that. If they want to be in the Android 1 program, just give us Android 1. Make it clean and make it done. The display on this thing is good. I would use this as my daily driver every day. But because of those three glaring things, there's absolutely no way that this can ever become a daily driver. So I'm either going to sell it or give it to somebody. Uh, I, I can't use it in the condition it's in. Uh, it's just... MIUI is junk. It's somebody trying to really, you know, put their stamp on something that's not needed. So we're going to leave it at that and say, that's all we got for this evening, folks. Uh, please share this video. Please like the video. And subscribe to the channel if you found this informative or useful. Now, if you're just a budget user, and you can get by with what they give you without worrying about the um, you know, extended storage, or you don't mind having to move your apps by hand over to the SD card. That's fine. And not have an after. God knows when they'll get that fixed. <sighs> then this might still be an option for you. And definitely, if you get one of these, 
get this rinky uh, Fusion X case. It's worth every penny. It's just a shame that they took what could have been a good phone and released it in a half-assed condition where it was not ready for public consumption at all. Should have never hit the public in the condition it's in. And that's all I got for tonight. So, using our Empire Selfie Stick, we're going to shut it down, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.